At NATO headquarters in Brussels, Secretary General Anders Fogh Rasmussen welcomed a group of visiting high school students that were victims of the earthquake and tsunami that affected Japan last year. Our friendship goes back a long way. Japan is NATO's oldest partner from outside the Euro-Atlantic area. And NATO nations and Japan share the same values. And we face many of the same challenges. So we regularly consult and brief each other on our security concerns. And we have agreed to work together even more closely in the future. The group of students was selected from three high schools in the Miyagi prefecture in Japan and visited Belgium as part of an educational exchange program. Before this visit, I thought that NATO was for fighting, but I learned that it even prevented the Cold War from becoming a hot war. That was very impressive to learn together with the fact that NATO is under civilian control. That was also something I learned today. It is impressive to hear that NATO consists of 28 member countries and that its activities are supported by a feeling of responsibility and the mutual strength of these member states. Addressing the group, Secretary General Rasmussen said that Japan regularly makes extremely valuable contributions to NATO's operations and missions in support of the United Nations. And he also spoke with the students about NATO's cooperation with Japan. This is a NATO Channel report.